OPEC is trying not to manipulate the price. It's trying to bring the market to balance. And when OPEC took the measure to um, uh, restrict uh, the, the uh, production, if you like, from its end, uh, plus some uh, allied uh, countries to OPEC agreement, it was meant to uh, shave the, the uh, extra uh, excessive uh, stock, which were record high, uh, depressing the oil price. That depression of oil price led to what? Has it led to an, uh, a better world economy? In fact, the worst record of world economy during that downturn of oil price. Now, during the journey of recovery of oil price, look at what happened. The balance took place already between supply and demand. The, um, uh, the world economy is at uh, its best now. And this is what we believe in, that the balance of the market, uh, the, let the market work uh, itself by itself, uh, provided that we don't have a, a huge excessive stock uh, leading to lower oil price, which will then down the road will, will uh, create uh, difficulty and in, in producing enough oil and possibly enough gas to cater for the demand, because what happens even now uh, after the, the um, recovery of oil price, the investment is not uh, adequate enough to cater for the demand worldwide. The investment in the oil and gas has not been commensurate with the, uh, uh, the, with, with the uh, world uh, demand down the road. So we can see that uh, many countries in the world cannot even make up for the natural drop or for four or five percent. That is natural. A lot of people think that by injecting millions or billions of money into our industry means increasing the production. But in fact, a lot of it goes only to keep that level of production because it is the, there is a natural drop unless we invest we cannot cater for the natural drop. And we can see now a lot of countries, in fact, dropped their production involuntarily because of lack of investment. We need to re-inject more money, not only to keep up the plateau of the production, but also to increase it further to cater for the demand. Why the drop is happening? It was because of the long downturn in the oil price which led actually to shrinkage in uh, the, 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 uh, the, the uh, uh, investment. Uh, it was for the first time in history that we lose two consecutive years, 25%, followed by another 25% of investment. And, and the result now is that there is a drop uh, in many fields, which couldn't be actually made up, uh, and we need the oil price to be fair for a longer period of, period of time so that in, injection of investment goes back to cater for the future demand. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.